Good morning. My family and I are going to Beersheba because we have to go to the bank. I forgot. We have to deposit some money, some cashola, and do something else up in town. I don't know. Maybe we'll go to a new grocery store that I've been really wanting to go to because it's really cheap. It's called Rami Levy, and it's sort of new in Beersheba. It's probably I'm six sure months old or so. About, but if you're telling everyone we're going to that place, we're not going to that place. I already told you I'm not he going won't there. go. It's useless to go there. Still right here. Don't need anything from there. It's all standard stuff. And it's all very cheap. No, it's not. Everything there is very cheap. No. I've went to different Rami Levies. It costs more to pay for gas. But we're already going. Ah, oh, that's a good job, Abigail. Yeah. Oh, it's also Friday, and it's like. Good I'm job. Pretty, pretty sure it's. Uh, A parade? parade? Oh, a gay pride parade in Beersheba? Well, that'll be a treat. For who? They're going to close all the streets. Oh, that'll be terrible. I just need a bank. I didn't plan on doing anything in Beersheba specifically. But if it's gay pride, maybe we can get some ice cream and unicorns and stuff. <sighs> You'd be surprised, but a parade means they close the streets. Well, we'll just film the parade then. Have you ever seen a parade in Tel Aviv? <laughs> that also means that's pretty wild. Park, which means you'll have to be double parked while I go deposit. Though the mm. second reason we're going there is to take pictures. Oh yeah, we gotta take pictures for our passports for his citizenship in America. How about that, Raphael? Yeah. You want your daddy to be an American? Y yeah. Go let the cat in. She'll be suffering hot. Oh, I still have these injections. Now, I think this is my last one, right? Yes. That's for blood clots after surgery. And we've been using it very, very sporadically, but we want to use them all up because that's what they're there for. Um, I do get blood clots pretty randomly for like the past 10 years in my calves and behind my knees. So, and then when you get them, they hurt. And then they dissolve after a week or something and then they go away so hopefully it'll help with that too okay then well, I got some trash to throw away got some stuff to give away but we're not giving it away yet we need a box that's what we need in town we need to go get a box to put stuff in to give away yes <laughs> whoa <laughs> what Her birthday's coming up. Daddy's at the bank. But look at all these outfits. All these outfits for this Barbie. Amazing kindness bright. Yeah. All right, so we're in the bank now. Interesting atmosphere. Abigail. Abigail. Abigail, you like how money's handled here? Ah. Yeah, you could do better. <laughs> I think she wants a cracker. Probably. I'll get them. They're in the car, I think. No, oh, you they put aren't. them in there? Good job. Good job thinking of your sister. Actually, he was holding you by the car. Oh. Okay, I went into Beauty Center, and that is like a. Um, a family dollars type store for makeup and hair and stuff and I got her some bows and they're very cute and I got a whole bunch of them two four six eight of them for 550 which is like a dollar 75 so it's a pretty good price and they had really 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 cute ones but I don't trust her because they were made out of like a harder foam but they were still able to be bent and tore off and eaten. So maybe later when she's a couple years older or something, I'll get her some of those. But they were really beautiful. Like an artist made them. They're kind of like clay, but it was foam. Um, you know how you can 
make clay into layers and then cut it. That's what they did and they made like flowers and butterflies. She doesn't like water. No, she hates water. She's part of my family. <laughs> so these are going to be really cute for her. Raphael had a good time walking with his daddy. Everybody was walking. We walked very far to Honestly, get there. Because it's a lie. In America, we walked very far to get there. In Israel, it's just a normal trip. We wanted to get a parking space. So. And then when we were coming out, I saw the... I like I have a eagle eye for meter maids. <laughs> but we didn't park at a meter. But you know what I mean? They give um, tickets to people who are parked incorrectly. And then Hadar was like, I called the city. <laughs> no, that's not what you said. What'd you say? Pretty much. Oh, I called the city. But he said, everything okay? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you heard the national sound of Israel. The car horn, yeah. By the way, this guy don't know where he's going. Yeah, I'm gonna, right, left and right. I'm gonna car shame that guy right now. Friday noon, we're feeling all right, and everybody's crowded up because it's Friday noon. Everything's about to close. The bank was closing as we walked out, and he didn't want to let anybody in, but some woman talked her way in while I was getting out. And oh, there's a cop down there as well with his lights on. Right, I'm gonna get someone coming over. Yeah, he is. Everybody's driving badly today. So, we're gonna go down here and get some Mexican food that is really shawarma. Beef shawarma. It is, though. But it's like, yeah, it is. It's it's strips. not like Mexican food, like a burrito. It's more like shawarma. Oh, yeah, you reversed all the way there. Oh, okay. And then he reversed and then. Yeah, why did he even reverse for it? It was literally here. Yeah, let's see. What are they doing back there? Angry at the world. Oh, there's crazy people back there. All of them, all of them are crazy. So, kids? Kids? No, not my children. The drivers. My children are a different type of crazy. The acceptable kind. This is the unacceptable kind. Oh Lord, have mercy. No, you know what I found out? Not everybody has a backup beeper sensor. So you have to be careful when you go behind them. That's why I beat the horn. Yeah. Not everybody has it. I thought it was standard on cars now. Mm -hmm. Not all cars are from now. That's true. So Mexicani's like over here where a bunch of kids stuff is. So we'll see you in about 30 more minutes. That is so hot right now. Can't even believe that these people are open. It's like way too hot outside for that. Burn your butt on that steel. If they had like a covering over this playground, it would be really nice for the kids. And you can see what's right next to it. An ice cream shop. And then next to that, our food. We got three burritos. And they gave us this bag. <laughs> it's huge. And we got a bunch of sauce down there. Unacceptable! Hey, Cracker Girl. Cracker Girl. Don't drop it. Yes, Raphael knows to look, to look for a floor before he gets in and before he gets out. You know why? There have been recent deaths of people just walking in an elevator and falling all the way down to the floor. Yeah. And that's very bad. Yeah. So you always have to look. Isn't that right? Well, if you're taught that as a child, you won't fall through the floor as an adult. Yeah? Elevators are new to me. We don't use elevators in Florida. Not where I lived. No, not where you lived. Are you cute, Abigail? You smear in the mirror? Don't do that. Don't do that.
this, find me that, I need this, I'm tired of it. Oh, oh girl? Okay, making a big old pot of shakshuka. It's gonna be very good. Do not drop my camera. Why? Not not just like you did? So here's mommy. She cooking some good food with some eggs in it. Ooh, pretty. It's pretty food. Yeah, it is. Everyone is gonna get pretty food. That's good for them? Mm -hmm. Is that yellow egg yolk going inside? Yes, the way I was taught how to do it, and I believe I watched it on Israeli TV from Dr. Shakshuka. Yeah, Dr. Shakshuka is a dragon. Is he? Yeah, it's a, it's a doctor dragon. A doctor dragon. You put the egg whites in first, and you stir them up. Yes. I had to turn it down because it was splattering on me. Are you looking at what I'm doing? Yeah. Check it out. So, we're going to check this out. How it feels. So you put these in first. The egg whites. Yeah. The majority of them. Yeah. So you do it some kind of longer days. You're supposed to not be able to see the egg whites. No. That's not what happens when I cook. No, no, no. Yeah, that's not what it does, Abigail. So, good morning, Abigail. Keep your eyes up here. Abigail sees us. Keep your eyes up here. Okay, so the egg whites are cooked. Yep. Put the now you put the egg yolks in. Yep. It's a big, big, long food of egg yolks. It's going to be a lot more gooder. It's a plus question mark. I must have my eggs cooked. So, I'm going to leave them in there for quite a while with the lid on and let them poach. Yep. Now it's time for me to go poach over here. All right, there that is. There that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I could eat the eggs. I'm gonna eat the sauce though. I, I have an issue with the eggs and they have to be cooked all the way. Daddy's got a little bit of soft egg. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. She likes yogurt a lot. A lot, a lot. Right, everyone? <laughs> I need to eat, ruin it. I've been working a lot on my vlogs because if the end of the world happens, we need to have our computers. Mm -hmm.